This is round six of the Diamond Ridges hat. So we are going to get started here. Um, you should have re uh, completed round five. Um, in this round, we will be creating our diamonds, our full diamond pattern. So you'll see this is the bottom of our diamond. And so we will be creating the top part by um, continuing with our clusters. So we have our chain three and our first step is to, we'll be creating our clusters at the top of the peaks of our previous rose clusters. So you'll be front looping behind those two to continue our ridge. And you'll be doing it just like a double crochet decrease. It's just like round five. This is our next peak of our last cluster from the previous row. And you'll be pulling up that one and going through until you have three. So you have the top part of your diamond. So here's the bottom and we're combining our top. So you'll be going through all three loops. And then for this row, um, it gets a little tricky because you're working behind that peak. So you'll be wanting to bring this forward and see where your next open stitch is. Every single stitch will get um, a double crochet. So you see we have the top of our cluster of this cluster right here, this V, the top of that one needs a double crochet. So you're gonna to have to, it's a little tricky, you're gonna to have to pull this forward and kind of work behind it to do your double crochet right there. Like that. And what that does, it kind of gives a backing to the top part of our cluster so that you have a nice thick hat. So in the next one, we'll be double crocheting into the next double crochet stitch before we do our next cluster. Now for this next one, you'll see that we have, we'll be doing our cluster behind this ridge, the ridge we just worked into, the second leg of our ridge, and then we'll be working into this ridge over here. But in between, we'll have two stitches that we'll have to go back and work into our double crochets. So let's see how that's gonna look. So we go back to our second leg of our diamond that we made, and we're gonna do another cluster. So we go behind and start it off. So you're doing just a half of your double crochet because you're gonna be clustering them together. Go into our next cluster, skipping these two stitches over here. See how those are getting stuck behind and we're gonna go back and do those. So here's our next part of our ridge and then we cluster them together to create that box. And then we're gonna have to go back and double crochet into this stitch and this stitch, which is so that you don't have a gap here. So double crochet, pull that forward. So you're gonna be going back and getting into that back stitch, and double crocheting. And then you're going into the top of your clustered stitch so you're working behind those front post double crochet clusters. And you're gonna be doing that all the way around. And that just gives you a really nice, see those double crochets are in back now. So when you turn it over, you'll see that every stitch is gonna have um, a double crochet worked into it. You won't be leaving um, any behind. And what you're left with is a nice filled in diamond with that nice ridge. So we'll do the next one. So you double crochet into the double crochet. So it's kind of like the center, right, of 
your cluster and then from here you're going to go back into the second leg of this diamond and then you're going to cluster it with this next cluster. So we yarn over, we go into the back, so you're just kind of, I mean like if you can kind of see my hook behind there, I'm just dipping down beneath those ridges and just grabbing up the loop. It's just it's exactly like a front post double crochet except you're doing it with the cluster. You yarn over, do it with the next one so you're going underneath both of those and then pulling them all together to create another box. So now we have two diamonds. We have this one and we have this one. So now we have to go behind and you can see we already worked into this double crochet. It's already worked into. So now all we have to do is go into the top of our cluster to fill in those gaps. And it's just filling in the gaps behind so that it'll it helps the front posts stand forward and it helps fill in those boxes to give you just this really beautiful effect here that I never would have been able to figure out on my own. Oh, there's some there. So double crochet into your double crochet and then we're going to cluster these next two peaks together. Yarn over, go under the first cluster peak and start off that double crochet yarn over, go into the next top of the cluster and you're going right underneath, you're doing it like a front post, that way you have these stitches left over so that you can work into them after. So those are together and then if we pull this forward you see that there are two. There's one in the middle here that if we didn't double crochet into it would give us kind of a gap here. See where you can see my finger? You wouldn't have any stitches there. We want it to look like this one where if I put my finger and I even stretch it, you cannot see anything behind it. So you yarn over and it is a little tricky. You'll have to kind of get used to it and you're going into that front and back loop there. I'm just moving my finger out of the way so you can kind of see it on the camera a little bit better. And you're just doing a regular double crochet behind that triangle. You can see it just fills up all the gaps there. And then you're going into the top of the cluster stitch from the previous row. There you go, and then you got another one done. So now we've got three diamonds, and I'm going to show you one more time. So you're going to be double crocheting a standard double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to be doing a cluster so you yarn over go behind this peak and do half of it yarn over and you go behind this peak do half of that one so you have half of both of them, so you get your beginnings of your triangle and then you go through all three and that gives you your next triangle and then you're working behind so you turn it over, you go forward and you see that you need to go into this next stitch which is the top of our cluster from before to fill in all those gaps. So let's do one more where you have to go into two. So you double crochet into the next one and that creates your recessed part. Creates this back recessed part that really shows off your front post double crochets really well. You yarn over, go into the peak of you know the front post of, of that cluster down below, you do half of it. Then you skip over this one. We're going to come back and double crochet into these two stitches once we're finished clustering 
these two together. So you see how we leave those behind and we kind of move forward and then we're going to have to come back. So, oh, I'm, uh, I dropped part of my yarn, so I'm going to do that again. All right, so we yarned over. We're going to go cluster those two together. Those three together. There we go. Made the cluster. And now we know that we have these two stitches we got to take care of. Yarn over, double crochet into that last one. And then double crochet into the peak. And the dogs are barking again, so I'm going to let you finish this up.